Yeah, yeah you too. It's boy John Shaft. And this is the Sunday show. So let's see what they got out here today. In terms of a uh, new C8. See if any new C8 has come in. Don't really look like anything come in this week. Looks kind of vacant. I see him once in up front. It's like a L car blue. So maybe we'll get around to uh to it and uh get it on video. See, this particular car here belongs to one of the salesperson. Yeah, it looks, looks kind of dead, I have this weekend. For some reason, I don't know what this is. My vehicle is still here. I come by each week, each week and uh, check on it. Why this is in the shop, I don't know. Now this, uh, it looks like a brand new car, but it's not brand new. It's, uh, it's used. I think it's a, I think it's a 2021 model. Steam ray in the uh, in the C8 steam ray when they seem to sit beside each other. It's, it's like a totally different car. Yeah, this is a 2021 model. This is a uh, 3LT. 3LT with 11,252 miles on it. If I'm not mistaken, I think this car went for like 90, 98, 98,000. It might be 100. Again, it's a 3LT. So it's kind of a little pricey.
This base model C7 looks pretty good to be a base model. Somebody didn't put the uh, side skirts on it and a uh, front end, front end uh, splitter. Looks pretty good. Carbon fiber. Looks pretty good for a base model. All you need now is to change out the, uh, the spoiler in the back of it. I actually, actually thought this was Z51, but it's not. It's base model steam, right? Tell you one thing though, when you get you one of these cars, man, you gotta be ready for it. These things are expensive. And you looking at probably between uh probably between uh twelve hundred and probably twenty two or twenty five hundred dollars a month for one of these. All just depends on what you uh what you're used to uh you know paying for a vehicle and what you would like to pay. And then, then this just is like I said, this is just this is Z51, but you know, it's, it's not even the uh, Z06. So, you know, this, this is definitely gonna be pricey. The Z06, man, they talking about a hundred thousand dollar markup on the on the Z06 for some of these uh, dealerships. Still here. Man, I sure miss this time. Yeah, we didn't miss it. Once you get used to driving one of these, you know, you, it's kind of hard to uh, go back to a regular vehicle. I hope you guys have had a good week and have a uh, fantastic weekend, even though it's about halfway over with. You haven't got a chance to yet. Get out to the Corvette Museum in Bowling Green. They have a lot of things, a lot of activities going on this time of year in Bowling Green. I haven't had a chance to get out there yet this year. Started to go last night at the last minute, but I changed my mind. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, get out to Bowling Green and bring you guys some footage before the season in.
hate when I come out here and ain't no C8s. Ain't no new C8s to come in anyway. As you can see, that's a base model, some base model of Corvette, not even a Z51. So. Yeah, that's one of them. That was a 2020 model. That alcohol I believe was 2020 model. It has uh, 9,000 miles on it. It's just a basic, basic, uh, basic uh, steam right for that. It's kind of dead out here today. <laughs> well, it's gonna be a short video. So ain't nothing much I had to see. Corvette channel, so I would just don't. I really don't put any other vehicles on the on cameras unless it's something really really special. Other than that, I don't waste my time in other vehicles. Boy, look at this truck though.
This is what you call a dual max. That's one heck of a truck. 2,500. It's a 2020 model with 36,000 miles on it. need nothing that big to be climbing in up out of at my age. Heck no. <laughs> she. I'm John Schaff, your host. You're watching another episode of my C7 Corvette channel. And like I said, I didn't see anything new come in this week. This is what I used to do on Sunday, come out to the dealership, seeing the new C8 that has come in from uh, Bowling Green. So I can get them on film, but obviously, obviously nothing come in this week. Maybe except that the alcohol blue that I just uh, got on camera because I don't, I don't remember I don't remember seeing it before but it, I don't, it, it's not, it's, it wasn't new either it was a 2020 model so it's, it's, sell, it's selling for it that's a used vehicle vehicle so I don't know what the price on it it had like 9,000 miles on it though as you can see my car still in the shop I haven't done anything to it. I haven't even gave him the go ahead, do anything to it. I'm still kind of stuck in limbo uh, when it comes to my vehicle. I, don't, I really don't, don't know what I want to do. I do know I miss it. Of course, you once you get used to driving a Corvette, man, you get back in a regular car, you know, it's, it's, it's totally different. It's totally different. But I, I get me another one uh, sooner or later. Just a matter of time. Just like I got this one, I get me another one. I just, I just can't see myself putting uh, fifteen thousand dollars into a, into a motor. You know, which really wasn't even supposed to go out like that. You know, these cars supposed to last a whole lot longer. Uh, than what it than what it did, and I'm, I'm afraid if I put a uh, put a motor in it, then the transmission is usually what neck, you know, what that happens, it goes out next. So that's that's one one reason why um, I was uh, hesitating about repairing it. You know, for fourteen fifteen thousand dollars. That's a that's a good down payment on a new a new car. Uh, either a newer car, you know, especially a Corvette, man. That's, that's quite a bit of money. And uh, I don't know if it was if it was a, a new car and, uh, and, and and something went wrong with it because of something I did, and I still had a bunch of financing left on it. Then I would I could see me doing that. But I didn't had this car three years, and uh, it had like a hundred. 150, 156, 58, something like that. A thousand miles on it. But still, it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't supposed to go out like this, you know, a uh, blown engine, man. That's, I, I, I haven't seen a Met guy that had a Corvette, man, a Corvette, uh, 20 plus years old, and, and they didn't have nearby the problem with what I had on my, on, all theirs, all like I have on mine. It's, it's kind of disappointing, being that it's my first Corvette. You know, for it to end like this, because uh, I wanted to uh, wanted to donate that vehicle to the uh, to the Corvette Museum in uh, in Bowling Green, uh, but I guess that's not going to happen now, and I just have to get me. Uh, Give me another one.
So I'm in the market for a, uh, a Z06, you know, C7 Z06. So uh, if I could find a good deal on a uh, on a C8, uh, I, I would take that too. This is John Shafts. You can watch another episode on my C7 Corvette channel. Again, I to encourage you guys to get out and drive your Corvette before the season ends. And if you live in a particular parts of the, of the country, you know, you know, it's cold season and uh, bad weather, you know, start coming here. You're going to be there. Enjoy your vehicle. Uh, I live down south here in Alabama, Birmingham. And also, I don't, I don't have that problem down here. But uh, like I said before, uh, if, you, if you can't get out, go to Bowling Green Corvette plant there in Bowling Green and uh, tour the plant. They got a wonderful uh, uh, Corvette exhibits uh, all about the history of the Corvette. And they got a souvenir shop and things like that. And I think they even have a place for you to, uh, for you to uh, eat and have a meal. Uh, it's, it's a uh, wonderful event no, no matter what part of the country you're from uh, or you're in it's definitely worth the trip to get out to the uh, to get out to the Corvette Museum there in Bowling Green, Kentucky well that's going to do it for this for this video as you guys hit the like button share button subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you will know when I'm doing a upload. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys again in the next video upload.